I've gotten so wise. <laughs> I just took a lot of... I, I First of all, I would say no. I just... I figure out what works for me and try to understand myself a lot. Because I was a very angry person when stuff would go wrong in a day. Like trying to get videos done every single day, twice a day. You get into such a rhythm that if anything goes wrong, like the video breaks or if... OBS crashes or you lose all the footage like I would legitimately get pissed off and it would ruin my whole day because it fucks up my entire flow and then my balance is off and I was like no I have to get these videos out like that's that's my thing like learning to just take a step back learning why that stuff annoyed me learning what made me angry why I was a angry teenager and just lashed out at the at the world rather than realizing like no you're just getting mad at yourself for some reason. Like, for me, a lot of my validation came from how hard I worked on my YouTube channel. And then it boiled down to, well, the reason you're getting upset about it is that if you miss a day, then your schedule is fucked and you pride yourself on your schedule. And then without your YouTube channel, you feel like you're nothing. And for like three or four years of doing it, that definitely felt like the case. And it's only now that I'm starting to really be more comfortable with it. Hence that I'm not uploading constantly all the time and not being like, Man, I wish I was on trending. And that kind of stuff. Like just appreciating my, my channel for what it is and what we're doing and not being like, Well, this person's blowing up and I'm not. Because it definitely was that sort of rat race for a long time. Even though... It was never a case of, like, I want more numbers. It's just a case of, like, I don't want to feel forgotten. I don't want to feel like I'm being left behind. I don't want people to forget my channel and move on to somebody else. And that's why you'll see so many YouTubers talk about if they stop uploading, they're afraid that their audience will vanish. And that is 100% the case for so many people on YouTube. Because then imposter syndrome kicks in and a lot of people feel like they don't deserve the stuff they've had because the algorithm has kind of kicked their videos to people more than their hard work has. Because X amount of work in doesn't lead to X amount of subscribers out. If that was the case, there'd be so many amazingly popular YouTubers. But because the algorithm kicks your videos to people and that's where huge numbers come from, then a lot of people who do YouTube and do streams feel like they don't deserve the success they've gotten. So... It's... Yeah, Corp says that a lot, yeah. And it, it happens, especially when you get such explosive... Like, I... Granted, I didn't have as crazy numbers as Corpse did in such a short amount of time, but I definitely... Like, numbers are just increasing more and more. Like, the next person that'll go viral next year or the year after will do maybe twice the numbers he's doing because just more and more people are online and more and more people get into something. And when it, something goes viral, there's just more people to feed into it. Um, but back in like 2016, my channel was definitely going viral and I could not keep up with it. And it was terrifying. And to think that if I stopped uploading, everyone would vanish was a huge deal. And definitely something that I was thinking about all the time. And then going on tour and taking time off and then especially taking two weeks off when I went to LA that time. I was like, okay, people are still here. That's good. Um... But taking the month off this year was my big test. To be like, that was literally in my head. I was like, I'm going to leave. I'm going to see if I feel like a person without my channel. I'm going to see if I feel like I can exist without my channel. And see if people will still be around. Um, There's a lot of stuff going through my head. And then taking that month off and then coming back and seeing like people still be here clearing my head, realizing that there are things outside of my channel that I still enjoy doing that I would be perfectly happy doing if I didn't have my channel. That I'm not working for the channel. I'm just kind of still working because I still enjoy what I do. And then when I came back, I got so much support and love and I was like, oh yeah. It's, it's just fun to do this as a job and to treat it more like that. But when you're in that space of when you're growing, there's definitely like, there is a hit to that will happen if you do take time away from that because the virality will slow down eventually and you want to hit that momentum as much as you want or as much as you can, I mean. Um, <laughs> we could never leave you, though. I mean, some people do and I think that that is the harder thing to come to terms with because there's so many people who 
you see in the community and are so active and so vocal and you interact with them so much and you you like you know them pretty well and you see them around all the time and then eventually they just stop showing up and eventually they're like they say that they don't watch you anymore but then they'll still watch a lot of your friends and i think that's a tougher pill to swallow at least for me it was and it's like what the, what did i do i feel like i haven't changed that much um and then some people leave because they get a lot of attention from you or they they start to feel like they you know them in the community and then if if you stop giving them that attention which i've i've tried my hardest to not pander to my audience as much anymore because i feel like i did that a lot and a lot of people were just there for that pandering um and then when you take that sort of like emotional fuel away from them then a lot of them leave and just move on to somebody else who will give them that emotional fuel and i didn't want to i didn't want to be that anymore it was too much pressure to kind of like be perfect for a lot of people i think and it just put way too much pressure on what i was saying in my videos and what i was doing and how i like what i did and how i played games and everything i was second guessing everything i was doing in case i fucked up um so people move on and they go to whoever can give them what they need and that's fine they'll they're on their own journey they'll come to their own realizations eventually but it 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 hurt a lot the first time that that kind of stuff was happening i was like man what the fuck is wrong with me why why are people not into me anymore like i feel like my videos are just as good as theirs like why why did they not want to watch me but they want to watch them and of course, there's other reasons for that. I'm not saying that's the only thing. That's just one of the aspects of it that I noticed. Um, but it was it was noticing those things that made me realize, oh, sometimes these things are out of my control. And sometimes you have to let some people go. And new people will come in, people will go out. It doesn't matter. Again, that's what I mean. I was, I was pandering the channel a lot to try and keep as many people as possible. Um... And try not to upset people and try not to like steer the ship in the wrong direction but eventually it's it's nice to just kind of like let that slide away and just be yourself a bit more and now i i still make videos for people but i feel like i wasn't there's like a split now where it's like for people and for me but before it was like way more i was just making content for the people who was watching it instead of kind of letting some of that stuff go and making some stuff for myself what am I talking about? I went down a weird path. But it's it's interesting. I feel like these are the types of discussions that many creators don't really talk about for some reason. And I feel like anytime I talk to a creator in private or in, like if I ever meet them at a convention or something like these are the types of conversations that come up so often but for some reason it's not a publicly talked about thing um gotta puff up your chest sometimes I guess so how are you feeling I'm feeling great 